You probably haven't heard of this headset, but the Play for Dream might actually be one of the best headsets on the market right now. Here's five things that you probably didn't know about it, and number one might be the reason that you've never heard of it. The Play for Dream uses micro OLED panels that push an insane 3840 by 3552 per eye resolution, paired with pancake lenses and a 90 hertz refresh rate. That's a sharper image than the Quest 3 or even the Quest Pro, and on par with headsets like the Galaxy XR or the Pimax Crystal Super, which means things like text and small details are always going to look pretty sharp. It's powerful by the Snapdragon XR2 Plus Generation 2 chip, the exact same processor inside the Samsung Galaxy XR. That's currently the most powerful standalone VR chip available, and it even supports Wi-Fi 7, meaning that high bitrate wireless PC VR streaming could actually be viable here. The headset includes built-in eye tracking, and it automatically adjusts the IPD to suit your eyes. So there's no manual slider to mess with, you just push the button and let the headset do the work. Now this thing is loaded with hardware. It's got 11 cameras, 7 sensors, and 22 infrared lights. All of that adds up to some seriously responsive tracking with around 14 milliseconds of latency, which is faster than the Quest 3's 22 milliseconds and nearly on par with the Apple Vision Pro, which costs about twice as much. But here's the real kicker. Play for Dream is not a gigantic company. They got funded through Kickstarter. This headset comes from a startup that managed to design, build, and ship a fully-fledged headset without the resources of a company like Meta, and they did it by raising $2.2 million from backers. That alone makes this one of the most impressive under-the-radar headsets that I think I've ever seen. If you still have questions about the Play for Dream headset and you want to learn more, check out my latest video, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more VR-related content like this.